Hi, my name is Marcus Kilb and I grew up in Smithers, BC. Growing up in a small town like I did, it's unbelievably easy to fall in love with nature. Everywhere you look is just another, another reason to love nature. The beautiful mountains, the pristine rivers, the majestic wildlife, the diverse forests, like it's all just another reason to love the outdoors. When you love something as much as I love the outdoors, naturally you just find something to connect yourself with it. And for me, my something is fishing. If you ask the people around me about me and fishing, they'd probably tell you that I do it a little bit too much. Uh, maybe they'd say that I'm insane for it or that I crave it or whatnot, which I, I definitely do. Um, I'm extremely passionate about the sport and you know, it's something that I just, I've fallen in love with over the years. I'll fish just about any body of water that I can. Uh, frozen lakes, open lakes, ponds, streams, oceans, you name it, I'll try and fish it. But I had a few friends who introduced me to river fishing a few years back and ever since then it's just changed. It's, it's a whole different story and every time I throw on my waders and I walk out into the current it's a small part of me just kind of feels at home and that's, that's where I want to be. Growing up in British Columbia and specifically the Balkley Valley it's unbelievably easy to fall in love with uh, river fishing with all the amazing opportunities we have there. We have dozens of fantastic rivers. We get amazing steelhead and salmon runs, and it's a very popular river fishing spot. But if you travel a little ways out of Smithers, there's one river in particular that I find is absolutely amazing and mind blowing and just gorgeous. So I'm here to introduce you guys to that river today. So meet the Babeen River. At the headwaters of Babine River is Babine Lake, which is 495 square kilometers, making it the fourth largest lake in British Columbia. And it's also first place for the longest natural lake in BC. Now, Babine Lake has amazing fishing opportunities, tons of species, it's a blast. I've fished there myself lots, and I, hi I highly recommend fishing there as well. But anyway, out of Babine Lake flows Babine River for 97 kilometers, then it reaches the Skeena where it heads to the ocean. Now, for most of the year, Babine River is a pretty quiet river. It's not a huge body of water and there's not a lot going on for a lot of the year. And then in the early summer, that completely changes. Uh, that's when the salmon start to run. So first come the Chinook salmon and they make their way up. And then the sockeye come and the sockeye come in huge numbers. And then the pink come, the coho come, and then later on the steelhead. So Babine River really gets all of it. It's amazing tons of fishing opportunities, but when the sockeye come, that's when the river really changes. The river goes from, you know, a, a, a few fish to just exploding with life. The whole river is just a highway for these maroon salmon. And, you know, the grizzlies are out, the mums and the cubs and the eagles are flying overhead. And it's just, it's incredible to see the river just pop up with life. And it's an amazing place to witness wildlife. And it's also a fantastic place to go fishing. So during the salmon run, Babin River is fly fishing only, which I think is fantastic because there's not a lot of places you can get this many salmon on a fly rod. So it's a very cool opportunity for that. Um, now when you're fishing for sockeye, they're not very aggressive fish. So the technique that we use is called flossing. And if you haven't heard of that, basically you're casting your line out and you're using heavy sink tip and it's gonna float down. And as the sockeye open and close their mouths while they swim, your line is gonna float down into their mouth and then as your line continues to float, your hook is gonna make connection with the corner of their mouth and you'll set the hook and you'll have a sockeye on. 
So now that I've introduced you guys to the river, it's time for me to get away from these bugs and uh, to have some fun. So I'm gonna go grab my rods and my waders and I'm gonna show you guys what truly makes the Babbin River so special. There we go, hooked up. Ooh, nice sockeye. Really, really nice sockeye. It's a nice sock guy. It's not like monstrous, but it's pretty big. <laughs> Alright, well this guy looks pretty tuckered at this point, so we'll see if he'll let me bring him in. Oh man, nice stock guy. Okay, so I've got him in shallow. Just gonna try and grab his tail. Got it. Oh man, what a fish. Big, big stock guy. Gorgeous. I'm gonna pop the hook out and get it right back. Wow. Hooks out. Gorgeous fish, you can get her upstream. Great way to start the morning there. All right, let's get some more. Now this year is the strongest sockeye run we've had for the last 25 years, which is incredible. It makes me so happy because I don't wanna to have to explain to the next generation or my kids what the Babbin River was all about and how magical it was. I want them to be able to come experience this for themselves. When I'm out on rivers like the Babbin, it's, I get this feeling and it's hard to explain, but it's just this, it's just this deep sense of peace because you look out at the river and all its glory and the wildlife and the fish and you just like with everything bad going on in the world with covid and and all like the wars and everything no matter what's happening there's always these little pockets of just space where everything feels right and it's it's really cool to witness that and see everything doing its own thing and um yeah it's it's a beautiful river and i highly recommend you guys come check this place out well this has been marcus kilb back in the Kilb Outdoors. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Catch you guys in the next one. Today's video is brought to you guys by the Balkley Valley Rod and Gun Club, Oscars Line Tackle, McBike and Sport, and Balkley Valley Outdoor Essentials.